Thank you, my love. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday and I have a bunch of jewelry things that I need to get done. So I thought I would take you along for the ride and show you what a day in the life of a jewelry designer is like. First, tea. Jewelry can be quite taxing on your shoulders, especially for me, as I was once electrocuted. Fun fact, long story. Anyway, it's important to, for me to get a full body stretch in before breakfast, which is usually oats. Today I'm adding granola, raspberries, barista oat milk, coconut flakes and chia seeds for a bit of extra protein. I've been vegetarian my whole life, so it's important for me to include protein wherever I can into my meals. Now that I've done my yoga, had some breakfast, it's finally time to crack on with other things that need to be done today. Last night I got an order from lovely Olivia. Thank you so much, Olivia. Genuinely appreciate your order of the cummy earrings. And I really hope you're gonna enjoy wearing them as much as I enjoy making them. So they are half finished at the moment. So I'm going to finish them up and show you how that's done. All right, so here I have got my, let's just put my head up there. Here I have got the half made gummy earrings, which have just come back from the gold platers. They need to, they need to now be, um, the hooks need to be made for them. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Right, so I need some wire. So I have some 0.8 mil round wire here. That is nice and hard. And I'm going to need to, make a little ball on the end to secure it so it doesn't come out of the little hole. I've got my little template book here and in here I have got the little sample that I use. So this is the piece that I need to make. So I'm gonna recreate this. I'm gonna recreate this, yeah. So I need to make a little ball like that by heating it up so that it melts and then I'm gonna create that. So I'm gonna torch on. Great, quench it, make sure it's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this off. It needs to be 2.5 centimeters, so 25 mil from the end of the ball. So I'm gonna cut that off there. There we go, and now I'm going to chuck that into the pickle. Five minutes later. So I just got these out of the pickle and they're looking all nice and clean. We'll polish them up later, but they are looking good and ready to shape into the little hooks. What I need to do now is just put this through here, through the little hole, and then I bend it up. So now the metal will be quite soft in these hooks because I've heated them up. So that is called the needling and it will soften the metal. I'm going to just bend these to the right shape. Like that. Okay, and then I'll bend that a bit up. So let's do the other one. Okay, now with that bent up like that, I'm going to snip a bit extra off. Say about there, we can always look at that later. Okay, and then let's just test it out. Right. 
Right, that works well. We will um, file that off in a moment. So I'm just going to smooth these off a little bit first with my little needle file to take off any excess sharp bits and then I'm going to use a bit of sandpaper. Ain't nobody wants sharp bits going in their ears. Nobody got time for that. So just clean that up, make sure it's smooth to the touch. Now it's time to use a bit of steel wool to bring up the shine in these silver hooks. So I'm just going to take them out and give them a little clean. This is extra fine steel wool, which is used for polishing jewelry. It gives it a nice satin finish, so it's not like a high polish, but it's really good just to bring back the life to any pieces of jewelry you may have at home. So I'll link, um, I'll link it in the description if you're interested. And I don't know how well you can see the shine on that, but it looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna just put those back in, in here. So it's usually like you can find triple zero or quadruple zero, which I think is better, which is the one I've got here, which um, is quite different to the normal steel wool you'll, you'll find. So don't just go with any steel wool, it's not all the same. So this is super, super fine. Um, the other one will make it a lot more scratchy. So make sure you do use the correct one if you do want to do it at home. Right, so the uh, rubbing it with the steel wool as well or any sandpaper or anything like that also uh, helps to harden the metal uh, so heat will soften it and then any like rubbing or hammering will harden the metal won't go into the all, all the finer details about metallurgy but uh, it's good to know also don't ever use the steel wool on any gold plated jewelry because that will um, rub the plating off so don't, don't do that. All right, so those are done, looking all shiny and happy and lovely. And what I'm gonna do now is package them up. All my packaging is 100% recycled and eco-friendly with absolutely no plastics involved in the process. It does cost a bit more, but it's money I'd rather spend doing something good for the planet. If you want me to do a full video with what I use, let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to do that. Maybe I'm crazy, but I really enjoy packaging. I love being able to create a fully enjoyable experience when buying a Megan Collins piece of jewelry. I even write a handwritten note for each customer to go along with the care card. Gotta take care of those little details, don't ya? Now that I've finished making the gummy earrings and packaging them all up, the next thing on today's to-do to -do list is to photograph my new collection. This is my Audrey collection that I have here that is ready to photograph. So I've set up my tent over there and a light and got a camera. So I'm going to photograph all of these. I need to have them on a white background because I've just been invited to stock a wolf and badger which is a super cool online um, store. They also have a physical store in London and in New York, which is pretty exciting. Um, so they have special requirements, as a lot of shops do, to be honest. So they want it photographed on a white background, which I usually do anyway, but as this is a new collection, I haven't got around to doing it just yet. So um, yeah, let's get started and photograph all of these pieces. I'm going to the post office to go and post um, three things actually. So the order that I made for Olivia of the Cummy earrings as well as a mold that I have for a different necklace for my uh, Eloise necklace. So I have an order for a silver one. So I'm going to uh, get that cast. So posting that and also a ring that I resized for a lovely friend of mine um, yeah so I'm, I resized that for him and so now I'm going to the post office in the snow yippee so we're gonna get to walk through the park and absolutely love doing that so we're gonna do that and 
enjoy the ride. <laughs> enjoy the journey. Time to put on my fashion accessory and go into the post office. I'll see you on the other side. Hello again. Uh, just got back from the post office. We went for a little bit of a longer walk because it was snowing and obviously it's kind of compulsory to go for a nice walk in the snow when it snows in London. It doesn't happen often. Anyway, back now, going to process the order in my Shopify store. So I've got a tracking number here, so I'm just going to put that into my phone. So I'm going to do that now. And now for one of my favorite things to do during the day is to get the satisfaction of ticking off the things from my list. So yoga, done, happy days. Make hooks for coming earrings, great. Package up all the things needed packaging. Photograph Audrey collection, done. Post office, done. Process orders, done. Had a little cheeky, sneaky uh, little watch of Eamon and Beck. We love them. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. All done to productive day. So what I like to do is then also enjoy the satisfaction of wiping this all off. And then um, writing what I'm going to do the next day. So it just helps me really to stay focused and know what I'm going to do when I wake up in the morning. Right, so tomorrow what I need to do is yoga because I do that every day. Uh, I've been doing a 30 day challenge with Yoga with Adrian. So uh, day 30 tomorrow. Uh, so yoga and then I need to make more stock for wolf and badger and I need to process two new orders that came in during the day and I need to work on editing the images I took today editing images boom so I think that's probably going to be enough to keep me busy for tomorrow. So dinner and time to chill now. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you found it interesting and got to see what it's like um, running a jewelry business from day to day. Uh, if you found it interesting, I'll be posting a video once a week with all kinds of different other things. So if you're interested in that, if you want to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But for now, have a lovely day. Bye.